Today's tutorial is about finding the resultant of a triangular load. Number 1, solve the magnitude of the resultant and determine its location. So based dito sa figure na to, may dalawa tayong triangular load. This one, the 9 meter load, triangular load, and the 4 meter triangular load. So let's start solving the resultant which is our summation of all the forces. So, the resultant is equals to, gagamitin natin yung area to solve for the force of the formula ng area ng triangle. So, 0 0.5 or 1 half times base times height. Ang base na gagamitin natin will be 9. And then, ang height na gagamitin natin is ang 42 kilonewton. Since, pababa yung forces, so, the force will be negative. So, negative 42. And then, for the next triangle, plus 0 0.5 times the base, which is 4 meters, and its height, which is also negative 42, since pababa lang din naman ang, force, ang forces. So, R will be equals to, if ito total natin tong lahat, ang lalabas ay, the resultant will be negative 273 kilonewton. Which means that the resultant is go also going down with the magnitude of 273 kN. Ang next naman na isosolve natin ay ang location ng resultant dito sa ating beam. Pero before that, let's solve first the moment of all the forces given. So, summation moment at A. Sa A tayo magmo-moment. Assuming that clockwise is positive. So, equals to, the formula will be summation of forces times its moment arm. So summation moment A is equals to 0 0.5 times 4. Dito muna tayo magsisimula since mas malapit siya sa A, sa so support A. So, 4, the base, and then the height will be 42. Positive 42 siya kasi ang ikot nito Itong force, the triangular load, paganyan, which is, paga dito, which is clockwise, so positive. From here to here, positive, so positive 42. And then times its moment arm, which is 2 third of 4 meters. Kung magmo-moment ka, na ganito ang triangle mo, from dito, sa kahit anong point dito hanggang sa tip ng triangle sa end niya, going sa kung saan ka magmo-moment, two-third ang gagamitin. Kapag pa ganyan, dito naman sa pinaka mataas na point ng triangular load, going sa other point ng moment, one-third naman ang gagamitin. So, dito, two-third ang ating gagamitin. Two-third of its distance or this, the four meters. So, plus... Another triangle, this one, 0 0.5, the base will be 9, the height will be 42, same pa rin, it's clockwise, going to the support A, so pa ganyan, so it's clockwise. And then, its moment arm will be 1 third, 1 third of 9 times, I plus 4 meters. Bakit? Kasi dito tayo, since ito yung triangle na consider natin, this one. So, magmo-moment tayo here, going dito. So, dito sa pinaka-tip. So, ang gagamitin natin is one-third. And then, pag ganyan ang ikot niya, one-third of the distance plus the four meters. Hanggang sa maabot natin ang support A. So, summation moment A will be equals to 1,547 kilonewton meter. So, ito ngayon ang ating moment ng mga forces na nandito. So, tapos na natin isolve ang moment. So, pwede na natin hanapin ang location ng resultant dito sa ating beam gamit ang itong formula. So, summation moment at A since A tayo nag-moment and then the resultant times its moment arm. So, since meron na tayong value for moment A, 1,547 uh, 1, is equals to the resultant, which is 273. Hindi ko na-include ang negative sign since wala namang, di naman magiging negative ang distance dito. So, times D. 
And then, if i-input natin to sa calculator, the D will be equals to 5.67 meters. So, ibig sabihin, ang resultant ay makikita natin 5.67 meters from the point kung saan tayo nag-moment. So, since dito, dito sa figure natin, nag-moment tayo sa support A, which is the roller dito. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating resultant ay 5.67 meters ang layo from, the, from this point. So, probably here, dito. So, mga dito siya. And then, with a magnitude of 273 kilonewton. So, I forgot to. Kilonewton. Going down. So, tapos na tayo for problem number 1. Meron na tayong resultant and the location of the resultant. We have another problem here. Same unknown but different figure. So, ihanapin muna natin ang magnitude ng resultant. So, for resultant, resultant is equals to summation of all the forces. So, R is equals to 0 0.5, the area of the formula of area of the triangle, or 1 half times base, which is, unahin man natin tong 135, so 7 ang base, and then considered ang height will be 135, and then since pababa yung force ng 135, so it is one negative, negative kasi pababa ang force, and then plus the other triangle, so 0 point, natin, plus 0 0.5, times the base which is 7 inches and then 150 will be negative since going down din naman ang force ng same sa 135 therefore kung i-calculate natin to the resultant will be equals to negative 997.5 pounds so ibig sabihin ang ating magnitude ng resultant ay going down ang, ang direction then, ang magnitude is 997.5 pounds. So, don't forget the unit. Next, to find the location of the resultant, kukunin muna natin ang moment ng lahat ng mga force sa given figures. So, summation moment at B. So, sabi tayo magmo-moment ngayon. So, assuming all clockwise will be positive. So, summation moment is equal to the summation of forces times its moment arm. So, summation moment B is equals to 0 0.5 Unahin muna natin tong 150 since malapit siya kung saan tayo magmo-moment para mas madali. So times the base which is 7 and then the height which is 150 pero magiging negative 150 siya bakit? Kasi ang ikot niya ay pag ganyan pag ganito like this one pag ganyan ang ikot ng ating force kaya negative 150 Now for our moment arm Ang moment arm ng 150 will be one third. Kasi dito tayo sa pinaka highest point ng triangle. Magmo-moment hanggang sa support. Times the distance. One third ng distance which is 7 inches. So one third of, of its distance. So plus 0 0.5 times 7 so for another triangle. Times negative 135 since counterclockwise the same sa ating na unang figure which is 150 so negative kasi counterclockwise din naman siya pag ganyan ang ikot niya so 135 times the moment arm ang moment arm nito since dito tayo magmo-moment so it's it is equals to 2 third so from this one this point hanggang dito 2 third of d ang d na hinahan ang d na minimin dito ang 7 inches which is ang base or ang gano kahaba tong triangular load. So, 2 third of 7 plus 7. Kasi nag-moment tayo sa B which is the end support. So, from here, 1 third, uh, 2 third of D plus 7 plus here the moment arm of this triangle. So, for, so all over, pag i-calculate natin sa mission moment at B will be equal to negative 6,737.5 pounds or pounds inch. So, ito na ngayon ang ating summation moment B or ang moment ng lahat ng force. Now, we, we can locate the 
location the position of the resultant sa ating beam. No, para makuha ang location ng resultant, let's use this formula again. Summation moment at B since sa B tayo nag-moment and then the resultant times its moment arm. Ang unknown dito, remember ang moment arm since hinahanap natin ang kanyang location sa beam. Now, for summation moment B, meron na tayong value which is 6,737.5. Hindi ko na isama yung negative na sign since wala namang magiging negative distance dito. And then, for R will be 9,997.5 times the distance. So, pag ikakalculate natin to lahat, the D will be 6.75 inches. So, based sa ating answer, ang ating resultant ay makikita natin from the point kung saan tayo nag-moment hanggang sa 6.75 inches. So, since dito tayo nag-moment sa B, ang ating mag-account tayo from here hanggang 6.75 inches. So, probably mga dito, here, 6 points. Okay. So, with a magnitude of 997.5 pounds. So, yan. So, andyan magkikita ang ating resultant with its magnitude. Our last problem, we have different unknowns still, pero iba lang talaga ang position ng figure. So, ang, at may isa tayong triangle na going up siya ngayon. This time, mayroong isang going down naman. Now, for the magnitude of the resultant, same pa rin kanina, summation of all the forces. Para makuha ang resultant magnitude. Now, R is equals to, simulan natin dito sa 250, 0.5 times its this, yung base, which is 5 inches, times negative 250 since going down, going down ang 250 na force, and then plus 0.5 for the next triangle, and then with, with its base, which is 6 inches, and times its height, which is 90. So, positive ang 90 ngayon kasi going up ang mga force, ang forces. Ang force. So, for R, pag ikakalculate natin, the resultant will be negative 355 pounds. So, based sa ating answer, although may going up tayo na force, na triangle load, pataas, going up, pero negative pa rin ang ating resultant. So, going down. Kasi based dito sa ating figure, mas malakas yung force going down kaysa force going up. Kasi 250 pounds yung going down, 90 naman yung going up. So kaya yan, ang ating resultant is go, still going down. Now for location naman ng ating resultant, before natin makuha yan, kunin na naman natin ulit ang ating moment of all, of all the forces. So magbong moment tayo sa B. Dito tayo sa B mag-start. So 0 0.5 times the base, which is 6 inches, and then 90. 90 tayo mag-start kasi mas malapit siya kung saan tayo mag-moment. So, ang 90 ngayon will be positive. Why? Kasi ang ikot niya ay paganyan, which is paganyan. So, it is considered as clockwise. Ganyan ang clockwise. So, I assume ko dito na clockwise will be positive and then counterclockwise will be negative. Now, for the moment arm ng 90, don't forget the moment arm. Since pag dito tayo mag-moment, dito hanggang sa tip, hanggang sa pinaka-smallest end ng, ano, ng triangular load, two-third ang gagamitin natin. Kapag dito tayo mag-moment sa pinakamataas hanggang doon, so one-third. Ngayon, two-third. So, two-third of its distance, which is six inches. So, yan na kanyang moment arm. O, ganyan, two-third. From here hanggang dito is two-third of the D. The D will be the six inches. Now, if add naman natin ulit yung other triangle. So, 0 0.5 times 5, which is the distance. And then, magiging negative 250 ang ating force for 250 kasi paganyan siya. Ang kanyang ikot ay paganyan hanggang sa force ng B. Paganyan. So, therefore, it is same sa ganyan, pa-counterclockwise. So, negative. Tsaka, ang moment arm naman niya ay one-third. Kasi magmo-moment tayo dito sa pinaka-highest point ng triangular load. So, one-third neto, one, yan ay one-third of its distance. Ang D nito is ang 5 inches. So, one-third of the 5 inches. One-third of 5. Plus, i-add natin itong distance na na-E1. Kasi dito tayo nag, 
dito tayo nag moment sa B. So, plus 1 third of D plus 6 inches. Yan ang moment arm ngayon ng 250. Na kung ikakalculate natin lahat, summation moment at B will be equal to negative 3,711 of 0.67 pounds. So, yan na ngayon ang ating moment at B. May moment na tayo ngayon. So, pwede natin hanapin kung saan ang location ng resultant dito sa ating given beam. So, for locating the resultant, let's use again the formula of summation moment B since sa B naman tayo nag-moment. Kung sa A kayo mag-moment, so summation moment A. So, times the resultant and its moment arm. So, unknown yan ang moment arm. So, isa-substitute lang natin yung value na nakuha natin kanina. Meron na tayong moment B at moment B. So, 3711.67 equals to the R, which is negative 355. Hindi na natin isali yung negative sign since hindi na naman magiging negative ang ating distance. Wala namang negative distance dito. So, times its moment arm, which is the D. So, ang D ngayon ay ang location ng ating resultant. So, times, pag calculate natin to, the D will be 10.46 inches. Ibig sabihin kung saan tayo nag from kung saan tayo nag-moment hanggang sa 10.46 doon natin makikita ang ating resultant. Now from this figure Now based sa ating figure, sabi tayo nag-moment kanina and then 10.46 ang layo nito ng resultant from B. So it which means that ang total length ng ating beam ay 11. So, probably, ang ating resultant ay nandito. Uh, mga dito. Here. So, just estimation lang. So, lagay lang at assuming nandyan siya. Nandyan ang 10.46. So, meron tayong with the magnitude of going down na 355 pounds. So, assuming from here hanggang sa B, which is paganyan hanggang dito, ay equals to 10.46 10 inches. So, yan na. So, based sa ating observation, kung saan mas malaki ang force, nandun, yung, nandun din yung resultant. At saka kung ano din yung force na mas malaki going up man or down, nandun din ang resultant na malapit sa kanya. So, tingnan natin. So, meron na tayong location and the magnitude of the resultant so that's it for today's tutorial stay tuned for more videos to come all about engineering mechanics